we should be able to glider. Oh, or not. Damn. Okay, well, that was epic fail. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy. Gaming name in this episode. We're going to go out and about and uh, do some more questing. So, first of all, we've got a, a commune with the flame thingamadoodle here. Uh, the ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud, yet some sparks still linger, flickering in the dark. A hunter, once the fiercest in the land, and an alchemist with knowledge of the ages. Awaken them, for they will help you along your journey. I like the idea of going after the hunter, because that's kind of the class we're shooting for. Uh, so, maybe that is what we will do. Uh, do you have something to say to me? Nope. He's just uh, sent. Don't waste your <laughs> He's just hanging out there. Okay, so yeah, we should uh, pretty much be ready to rock and roll here. I got all my stuff put away. And we have pretty much have our full rested bonus here. So we'll get that topped off. And let's take a look at the map. So, uh, actually, no, let's go to the journal. And it looks like, looks like the hunter is the active quest. Um, and then we got these little side quests here too. Where is this at? Well, actually, no, here, let's, let's see where the hunter is first. Okay, so the hunter is off to the east. Um, this is, that's the spire, so we could teleport there and then glide over in that direction. Bridge construction report. <laughs> All right, guys, got some bad news. Um, <laughs> I went and did the uh, the tomb and did not realize that while I was doing it, um, OBS crapped out and didn't record any of it. Um, so, yeah, I uh, it sucks. So here's, um, and there, by the way, there's, there's not really any way to save this game. It saves, it auto saves and it saves when you, you know, when you log out. So it's not like I can load a previous save and do it over again. So it really sucks. But any hoozle, um, what we got, got uh, or we learned the bone blocks and got 268 of those from the tomb and some critter parts. Uh, what I'll do, though, is it's not really that far away from where we need to go. Um, so we'll go back there and just I'll, I'll show it to you really quick. It, it was easy. It was like super easy. Um, no puzzles. Very small area. We had we had to kill some spiders, uh, but you know I one shot every one of them, so they were real easy. Uh, one thing I do want to do though, before we take off again, is I want to um, upgrade this. I'm not going to upgrade this right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Um, and this is kind of more of a utility weapon, so I probably won't be upgrading that anytime soon either. But we do want to upgrade this. So let's go ahead and enhance that once. So now we added uh, two more damage in the form of fire magic to our bow, which is awesome. And all right, so let's put uh, let's put the runes back in there. We don't have a whole lot of runes at the moment. And I used one of these wisps of light too. That was really nice because it's just like, you know, a little light that follows you around. Okay, let's do this. Let's go back to the spire. Um, and we'll just go take a really quick look at, at the tomb, just so you can see what it looks like. For those of you who maybe haven't seen it. Um, okay, so yeah, it's just right down here. Well, uh, you know what? I'll bet you the spiders probably repopped because I... I ended up rebooting my my computer. I don't think hmm, I don't know if I want to burn another one of those flasks though. So yeah, the spiders are back. Okay, well we should be able to see them. Why don't we do this? Let's go here, and I'm gonna put um, let's put this here because this will probably well it gives us a little bit of light, not a ton. But yeah, it's basically just spiders and um, 
The spiders can poison you, but it's not not that big of a deal. Uh, like they just did right there. Okay. And you get... Oh! You get uh, bug parts from these, or critter parts, which I'm assuming will use in some kind of recipe later on. Um, let's go ahead and take a raspberry to heal. So we come into this room. Yeah, it's got all that little skull styled wall there. And I think we looted something out of a coffin. It wasn't anything super cool. Damn, it is really dark in here though. Okay, and this is the main chamber, and we opened this, and we got the bone blocks. Oh, I guess we got we get more bone blocks. Cool. And then it just goes back around here. This wand is pretty powerful, considering we have absolutely no skills whatsoever in magic. And it's not even upgraded, either. Okay, there might be, yeah, those, those bigger um, cocoons appear to have spiders in them. Oh, here's that coffin I was talking about. More shroud flask. Okay, well, at least that made it worth it to come back down here. Is there a spider in this one? Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, it looks like they got us. Okay, that's pretty much it for the tomb. All right, I'm going to go back home, repair, drop stuff off, and then we will go head over and rescue the hunter. So I'll see you guys when we're en route to there. Okay, so the hunter's off to the east here. I'm guessing it's probably that black uh, fortress out that way. So let's do this. Got a little something or other here. Let's see what this is. A small flint mine. Yep, that looks like a small flint mine to me. Okay. Can we get a shroud wood from this? We should be able to. Yep. So it's nice to know you don't have to go down into the shroud to get shroud wood if you can find it in a little patch like this. Alright. Let's head this direction. I'm not going to loot a whole lot of basic stuff just so we can save room. Uh, we should be able to glider oh or not damn okay well that was epic fail um hmm All right, let me see where we're at We kept going that way we'd get to a, an elixir well um if we go is there a way out though if we go this way yeah i should i should have gotten a little higher up before, <laughs> before we jumped there but oh well i'm assuming this path will eventually lead, lead out of the shroud i hope that oh well you know what maybe we should go do a story of rot oh you guys are new enemies level fives 
Yikes. Okay. Let's, um... Let's take one of these. I think this warrants a health potion. Stamina, 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 stamina. Health potion. Shoot, I don't have the right toolbar stuff. Here, quick, take this. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Wow, these guys are tough, man. Okay, we got him. Whew. Well, we would have been fine with just one of those guys, but with two of them and the bugs, and that was a bit of a challenge there. Okay, I need to, and I usually do, I just had switched it out for the wand. I need to make sure I keep these on the, the toolbar for, uh, you know, for the buff. And speaking of which, let's um, take that and we'll take this too. Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of scary. Um, we are starting to run out of shroud time too. Um, let's see if we can hang a right here and go. We might as well go do that rot quest if we're going to be in the area. It wasn't my plan, but sometimes plans change if you guys didn't know that. Uh, we do have these if we, if we need to take them, so. I don't know if I want to fall down. Ooh, yikes. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to fall in those cracks. It looks like we might eventually get out of the... There we go. Okay. Whew. That's a big shroud area. All right. Well, um, we're actually near the hunter, too. So should we go up and do this first? Why don't we? Since it's just right there. I mean, I don't know what all it involves. Hopefully it won't be a big deal. level are you? Yeah, see, these are level five critters. Um, if we go into here, what? Oh, I'm level three. Okay. Yeah, I'm level three. All right, so this is on the upper end of what we can handle right at the moment. <laughs> we can do it if we're careful and we don't get jumped. And this will help too, um, you know, by giving us a, a spawn point, you know, if we, if we do bite the bullet. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we found that. All right. The rot thing's over this way. And I guess we go... Back down into the the yuckety yuck. Um, let's take one of these. Okay. Is that a bad guy? That is. Didn't time the parry right on that. Search. There we go. Oh, good. We got some runes. Ten, in fact. Maybe this is a good place to farm runes. All right, so we got something going on over here. Let's try to be really cautious because Netherton. All right. All right. Oh, 
Oh shit. Okay. I don't want to take on a whole bunch of these guys at the same time. Why does it say effective and resisted at the same time? Either it's effective or he's resisting it. In which case it's not effective. I don't know. I wish my guy wouldn't, um... Just kind of randomly... Target different guys um, without taking the first one out, you know, kind of thing. Oh, um, I got kind of stuck in the menu there for a second. Pop a bandage. All right. It took a little bit longer to do that than I was expecting. Eh, whatever. Let's just kill them. These guys—they're level fives, but they're not that tough. Not like those first guys we ran into. So, um, let's dispatch this. I want to go in here real quick. You're just going to stand up there? Dummy. There's probably more stuff in there we could loot, but I'm actually a little bit concerned about my um, shroud time here. Oh, man. Not hitting the parry's very good on that. Jeez. used to those enemies. Okay, we need to go this way. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> that was an epic fail. <coughs> ah, shite. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I hit the, I accidentally hit the glider button, which I didn't mean to do, of course, and that's what screwed me up there. Um, there's bad guys out. Okay, let's see, what should we do here? Um, I'm almost thinking I should set up a flame altar, go back home, repair, sleep, and then... We can just fast travel back over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll come back here. All right, I'll meet you guys back here in the morning. You know what? I think I think that's our first death. I'm pretty sure that's our, our first death of this whole playthrough. But this is, this is a very dangerous area for me to be in at level 3. So, you know, it's not really surprising. Kind of sucks, but it's not surprising. I hope I can actually get my stuff back because it kind of fell down into the lava area there. Oh, we got bad guys. All right. Um. Well, he's a ranged guy too, eh? dead. There was another dude over here as well. There he is. 
effective backstab damage. Okay, this is the mace guy. There we go. He doesn't stay parried for very long, though. Okay, so we're back into Netherton. And our stuff is... Oh, it's on top of that thingy. Okay, so... I gotta jump and then jump again and not hit it a third time. Seriously? Oh, I can't believe that. I thought, um... Uh, I thought I could get there with just a single jump, but obviously I thought wrong. Alright, let's go try it again. If at 10th you don't succeed, you know. Okay, we're back. Let's get the first set of goodies. And then we're just going to jump and jump once. There we go. Yeah, when you fall down into that shit, it's all over, man. There's no recovering from that. What have we got here? Oh, 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 oh wow, baby. All right, that was worth the, uh, that was worth the struggle for sure. Um, yes, indeed. Okay. Nice and easy once and once and we're good. Oh, wow. What a nice find. Okay. So, um, that's 12 power, less stamina cost, same arrow speed, same draw speed, same power at the moment. But of course we have all these upgrades, um, slots for this. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Now this... This we could, yeah, let's just turn this into runes. We don't, I don't think we need it anymore. Oh, way cool. Okay. I love it. So it makes me feel, feel a little bit better. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. There we go. It always show up when I'm in the frickin' menu. Maybe I should pay attention and not get into the menu and make sure there aren't any more enemies around. What do you think about that idea? Okay. Um, I think that's where we need to go for the Tale of Rot. Ruin has come to our family. I've worked tirelessly for so long. I was the last to stay and try and hold on to anything. Dear Grandfather, I was a fool. I can't save the home you once built by hand. Fumes from the river make the stone brittle. My bones decay. A deep shadow has crept inside me. It's attached to my spine, convulsing in my ribcage. I must sit, rest, only for a moment of respite. Why do I get the feeling like he never got back up again? Um, okay, go this way. Oh, nice. We get out of the shroud here. Search. A roughly cut stone block. Nice. Okay. That'll be coming handy for uh, future builds. Okay, let's look at the map here. Um, I have a feeling like we're supposed to get... Actually be out of the shroud to do the Tale of Rot thingy. Uh, any chance we can get out of there from this direction? We might be able to make that work. Um, okay, so we did that. Um,. Can we just do this? Man, damn near. Okay, can we just get up here? Not quite. All right. So, we're going to do this then. Yeah. There we go. Okay. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Taylor Rock. Where are you at? Oh, right here, I think. Yeah? Ancient obelisk. Read. Unforeseen humanity is ephemeral. Nothing but a brief moment in time, a breath long taken, the blink of an eye. Yet, despite their moral nature, they have created fire. A flame... No, oh, no, sorry, mortal nature. They have created fire. A flame of their own to brighten their impending dawn. Six markers added, and we've completed the story of Rot. That's it? What's the actual story? <laughs> um, okay. Look at that. We got, um... Some thingamadoodles there. Let's use this for breaking stuff so we can keep our main weapon in good shape. Um, okay, so we got new stuff on the map. Let's go to the journal for a minute. So, interac interaction with the ancient obelisk to reveal its Knowledge of the land and, re and recollection of the past. Okay, so it said some new stuff opened up on the map. Um, flame sanctum. I'm not sure what opened up though. It's probably these question mark thingies. I'm guessing. Okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and work our way over to here now. And you know what might be easier is for us to go home, repair, and then go to the spire to, to fly over there. It's just the easiest way to do it. Of course, yeah, you know, the, the advantage of, of walking around and you know, as an exploration, because then we discover new stuff that we might not necessarily discover if we're just flying all the time. So we'll have to kind of, you know, balance that out, I guess. Okay, before we head back out, um, I'm thinking I want to upgrade my bow. Wolf, wolf, wolf's Snarl Longbow. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, we're not going to have enough runes to do all of it, but... Yeah. Okay, well, we got it upgraded a couple points it. anyways. Um, so now it is 15 power. It does 3 fire magic damage and increases crit chance by 5%. There it is. Okay. Um... I can tell that we're going to really be wanting a lot of runes in this game as we progress. So, yeah, that's a thing. Let's get our rested bonus topped off and then we'll set out. Okay, here we go. So I'm pretty sure we're heading for this black keep over here. And hopefully this time we don't fall down into the Grand Canyon of Enshroudedness. Let's go ahead and kind of turn this way and we'll walk along this ridge this time. There we go. It's quite the little mansion thingy down that way. some honey back. I think this is, yeah, this is where we fell down last time. Um, let's get up even higher if we can. Because when we did fall down there. Alright, that's not quite what I meant to do, but this will work. In fact, yeah, this is the bridge that we crossed underneath. Well, since we're here, we might as well take a peek inside this house. It's 
Hiders. Alright, we're gonna need this because I can't see Jack Diddley. This is just a a cellar. Like I said, I don't I don't want to gather up a whole lot of basic stuff right now. I want to keep our inventory fairly clean. Hey, I want a cooking stove and set up like that. That's cool. Metal scraps. Looks like this was an, an inn at one point, maybe? How do we get up stairs? Did I miss a stairwell or something in here? Ooh, these bunk beds can all be broken down for scrap metal. I'm gonna do it right now, of course. How do you get upstairs? Hmm, maybe you're not supposed to. make that jump. Never mind, we can. Hmm, you'd think after going to all that effort there'd be something up here, but there isn't. It looks kind of cool up here though. Anything all the way up on the roof? Not that I can tell. Okay, well, this is a place I could come back to later if I want to, you know, just get some loot, loot skis and stuff. Another bathtub and furnace of some sort, it looks like. Nice. Okay, let's get moving here. We're kind of running out of time. Well, hi, wolf. these berries. Well, I guess we have a full stack. We're good. Almost there. Got a little bit of shrouded area there. Is there anything in this place? Oh, shit! I didn't know that guy was there, obviously. There's a cave or something down here. What in the hell is that thing? Oh! You know, I need to... Uh, I'm going to probably have to make some wood arrows because I'm just about out of these guys. And I, I don't know how to make those. I'm hoping that the hunter will, uh, you know, en en enable us to be able to make those things. What's that over there? I don't know. It's a, it's a distraction. Let's go. Yeah, that's a new, a new creature, a cre creature, creature. I don't even know what that thing is. Some big furry thing. Is it like a werewolf? Guess we're gonna find out. You coming at me, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's probably a werewolf. That's kind of what it looks like. Or a big Wookiee or something. Hey, we got some animal hide. Nice. Oh, 
Health potions, we'll take that. Nice. All right, before we go in here, I want to um, replenish our stuff. We're getting kind of low on corn and wolf ribs. Oh good, we got a checkpoint up here. I see a dude over here. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Excuse me. garden up here. Well, this is a good place to come and get animal hide, that's for sure. There's lava down there. Oh, look at that chandelier thingamadoodle there. That is cool. Oh, nice. We got some flint arrows and what is this? Ice bolt staff charges. Okay, so yeah, that's... Those are for staves, which we don't have. And... I guess we could have gotten up there from that direction. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. I'm glad we got some more flint arrows. that dude with the big stick up there oh is he like a shaman or something yeah I bet you that's what he is because it looked like he was trying to heal that guy all right werewolf shaman makes sense you can eventually find you know like the this kind of a block this architecture that'd be cool to build a base out of that stuff there's a big bonfire in here wow look at that thing certainly aren't going to have a shortage of animal hide. Here's a chest. And a potion and health potion. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. What's that? Oh, that's probably something we don't want to mess with. Alright, so... I guess what we do is this... Uh, or that too. I was trying to get to the grappling hook thing up there, but I couldn't quite reach it. Do you have something to loot? Nope. Guess not. Okay, what's over here? A door that requires three buttons. All right, let's uh, break these. I don't want to pass up these because this stuff's got good loot in it, potentially. 
In this case, though, it looks like it's just got hide. Okay, so there's the first button. And I guess we just need to... Can we do this? Nope. Okay, so that takes care of the first button. Um, anything over here? Second button. And let's do our usual with this stuff. Oh, nice. We got some resin. You know, this doesn't seem to break that stuff any faster than the scrappy sword did. Do I still have that with me? I don't. Okay. Um, we don't need to be carrying this around, so... And we don't need that either. Oh, I, I could have turned that into string, actually. I don't need extra bones. Just trying to make a little room here is all. I don't need this. I got tons of that shit back at the base. So we still need one more button. Oh, there it is right there. Did that? Uh, no, it's... Where's the button at? Is it down lower or higher? Hmm, maybe, maybe it's out of range. I bet, oh, you know what? I bet you we have to grapple over there. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, here we go. Mm, shit, we didn't quite make it. Nope. Can I stand on this without getting burnt? We are the, the flame born after all, right? Alright, let's do that. Let's go. Oh, shit. I'm just barely don't make it. I don't see any other way that we're supposed to get up there other than the way I'm trying, so I gotta get good. That's all there is to it. There we go. We got good, man. We got good. And now I can't see anything. So we'll just climb down from here. Here we go. Okay. Ring of stamina. One stamina and one stamina regeneration. Okay. What are we currently doing for rings? Oh, we don't even have the second ring. Okay. Well, then we shall equip it. Oh, let's get rid of this. Okay. Okay. So we got that done. Uh, now we need to get across here. Uh, oh, that's easy. We probably could have double jumped that too, but with my track record, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay, that goes up. What does this do? That also goes up. Okay, let's go this way. I heard something whistling over, uh, whispering over there. Oh, I think this is where we gotta go. Any bad guys in here? Okay. Summon the hunter, Othalon Scree. And we learned the dried fur, scout gloves. Oh, nice. Okay, so it looks like we we just learned a, a hunter's armor set. That's cool. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, this video has ran pretty long, so I think what I'm going to do is 
just stay here and you know break pots and loot a few more things and then uh, we'll head home well actually look at that what is in here It's just a route up to the roof. It makes me wonder what's on the roof, though. Oh, that's neat that the spire shoots the light up into the sky like that. Yeah, we're probably not meant to, to get up there. I can almost get up there, but not quite. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to just hang out here and grab a few resources, bust all these guys up, and then head back home. And then in the next episode, uh, we will probably go after the alchemist. That would be kind of, that would kind of make sense for the next thing to do. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. Uh, I will keep the recorder running just in case something noteworthy happens and i'll show it to you in the next episode but otherwise thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye